Welcome to East Harbor State Park here in Ohio. It's in Marblehead. It's our first time here. We want to show you guys the park. We want to show you guys places to eat, things to do. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to have rain all day tomorrow, I think. Yeah, I think so, but we're going to enjoy the sun while we can and the warmth while we can. Yeah, it's beautiful, mm -hmm. beautiful day out. It's 43, but a little windy, but hey, it's beautiful out. So come enjoy the park with us. All right, so we were going to take a walk. And we realized that the campground is so big, we gotta break out the electric bikes and ride them around. Right up here. Yeah. Okay, so here's the beach. We did find the beach. It goes a pretty good ways down. I mean, you can see it just follows the path all the way over here and around. And it ends right, right there. So it's actually a pretty good sized beach. Breakwater out there. So it's keeping it a little calmer. And yes, there's somebody just standing in the water right now down there. And it's not cold. The sand's really hard. It's probably because it's winter and yeah, I still think it's very cold. Yeah. There, there's a lady standing in the water. That's got to be cold. That's not cold plunging. Not bad beach. Not bad looking beach. Maybe she's looking for potassium. Not here. <laughs> so there you go. There's the beach. Nice beach. Within walking distance. Yeah. It's not bad. Very cold. We brought it on ourselves. Yeah. So let's take the bikes. Dinner time. It is. Where are we going? We're going to the crow's nest. It was one of them that was recommended to us, so we're going to go there. We got to get walleye because yeah. we're up here on the, yeah. the Ohio River. So Absolutely, Ohio River. yeah. <laughs> Lake Erie. <laughs> Not the Ohio River, Lake Erie. Yeah, Ohio River. It's like being brain. in Texas and Kentucky. And we're down here in Texas. <laughs> Texas. <laughs> I'm in Kentucky. I want to be in Texas. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's do it. Yep. Oh, 
of the golden hour. <laughs> Is it that time? Today in the campground, it's going to be a rainy day in this area. Um, we didn't really plan for a rainy day, but we knew it was coming. But we're going to find some things to do. But first, we're going to go to breakfast at a place called Big Boppers. It's been recommended, so let's go check it out, get some breakfast. If you're breakfast people, we'll let you know how it is. The destination is on your left, Boppers Restaurant. Irish skillet. It's got sauerkraut in it, but I might got SOS. Well, it's what we call it in the Navy. It's chip beef on toast. So SOS in the Navy, you can imagine what SOS stands for in the last one being shingle. But this was something that in the Navy was thought of as not a good meal, but it was like everybody ate it because we loved it so much. So I don't think I've had it since the Navy. So we're going to check it out. Enjoy it. I did see this place here. It's like a shopping place, but yeah, we gotta find something to do in the for the rain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've never been to this lighthouse when it wasn't. <laughs> it's usually busy, so we're the only ones here. We've been up inside here before, but I wanted to show you what this was. Marblehead Lighthouse. And they do give tours. I think it costs like, I think when we did it was like $5 per person. You could go up to the top. Did that in our pre-YouTube days. Just a really pretty area. The, the grounds are gorgeous. Just over there is Cedar Point. Okay, so what you just saw was uh, the Marblehead Lighthouse area. It's a state park as well. Um, but with it raining, we didn't spend a lot of time there. And Joni was actually the only one out because she wore rain gear. I didn't. Uh, but now we came in a little bit in into town and there's a coffee shop called Coffee and Cream. Yeah, so we're going to check out the coffee this shop. Some of the best lattes. Yeah, this is very good lattes, but just understand that every road through here is one way. So your mm -hmm. GPS will not take you there. It'll get you close. Then you just got to keep making turns till you can get to a parking spot, which we did. Yeah. But it's early. It's, it's almost 10 o'clock. It's a gated and, village. The gate doesn't even open until 7. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to go get a coffee. Go get a latte. Check it out. We like coffee, so mm -hmm. let's go. No coffee, no worky. Maybe it's just not in season yet. It's not open. It says it opens at 6, but... No, maybe it's like the day before April 1st. Yeah. Guess we're not going and in there. A lot of places here aren't open until April 1st. Yeah. Oh, bummer. Oh. They're like doing construction. Yeah. That's not open. Oh. Okay. Well, we tried. Across the street, something's open. Let's go check it out. Well, this area looks really cool. Yeah. I mean, it's just the place it'd you can be walk fun. around. It would be fun to just kind of walk up and down the streets here. Oh, 
his name? This is Seju the Hedgehog. Seju the Hedgehog. Hi, baby. This is how small the whole world is. Is Erica sculpts balloons True. at Benny's, and we have been there at Benny's, a yep. pizza shop in Marysville. And here she is, an author too, with a little said. Sedgy the Hedgy. Yep, Sedgy the Hedgy. And that's your book too? My book is Sedgy the Hedgy Finds the Treasure. Oh. I can grab one. And, and when does it come out? It's, it's already, already out. out. June 2022. That okay, so out. And then I have a second ago. book coming out in May. Uh, Sedgy the Hedgy Solves the Case. It's a mystery awesome. theme with a, you know, awesome. Oh, here's Sedgy the Hedgy. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Sedgy the Hedgy Finds the Treasure. That is awesome. Treasure comes in many forms. We were just out meandering. We actually went to go oh, get really? coffee. Yeah. And the coffee shop. And I said, well, these guys are open. Let's just go over there. There you go. And then here we are. And then they're from Delaware. And then, yeah, it was like such a small world. Oh, I love it. I love it. Because <laughs> you didn't know, Lisa. No, no we didn't, didn't know any no. of oh No, gosh. I didn't even know anything about this We're just up here with our RV community. camping for the that's weekend. So fun. Yeah, that's Checking awesome. Checking out the air. That's awesome. All right, so now we're leaving this area. We got our signed book. We by got a the signed author. book by the author. Yeah. And the funny thing is, the people that own the store, the author, <laughs> and us, we all were in Marysville at one at time. At one time, we all lived in. We Marysville. all lived there at one time. But probably at seen, the same time. We've seen Erica. Yeah, we've seen her place. at a local pizza shop. Yeah. But just yeah. another reason to, when you're camping and you're out, just visit the little towns. Mm -hmm that are around yeah, you. Yeah, this little community is really unique. Just it's, such a treasure of stuff. Yeah, yeah. I Even mean, in the rain. I'd love to come back when the season's actually full blown. Yeah, see it's it, see it hopping. Early. Yeah, it's very early, so we'll have to make arrangements to come back. It's early, but it, to us, it's late because we've been camping <laughs> all year round, so. That's all right. I'm like, why isn't it summer already? ice cream for lunch do you as you walk the toss don't you hear the rocky movie soundtrack dun, 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 dun. i don't maybe I do. you do i hear it in my head Lunch of Champions, right here. So we did a flight of five different ice creams. Okay, I'm frozen now. Out of all the flavors, we didn't really finish them. It's it a lot of ice cream. What's your favorite flavor of all the five we got? Okay, it's because I like it all. Of course, Butter Pecan's really good. It's, it's just classic. The bourbon, which is the one I finished, helped finish, was my favorite. The two chocolates. This, this one's was very this peanut buttery. Very peanut butter forward. And this is just chocolate with chunks of uh, little chocolate cups in it. I think mm -hmm. it's got uh, caramel or it doesn't even have caramel. Mm -mm. Chocolate. Chocolate peanut butter cups. And now I'm frozen. It's the hard side of YouTube, people. We suffer for you. All right, y'all, so the rain finally let up so we could actually get out and walk around and be dry. We just thought we'd take a walk around the campground again.
That was a big bite. And the mac and cheese for a win. The jalapeno That's good. sausage is good. The jalapeno sausage is very They good. could be a little more heat hot. I've never been around communities that were so heavily entrenched in boating or lake life in general. This was our first trip to East Harbor State Park. Here is where RV life is amazing. As we walked around Lakeside, we entered a shop and struck up a conversation with the owners. They were putting on an Easter themed event in which they brought in children's author to read from her book, Sedgy the Hedgy. The interesting part is the owners of the bookstore and the author lived in the same town we lived in for over 20 years. Of course, as you can imagine, we ended up spending over an hour talking and enjoying their company. We also got to enjoy watching the author do story time with several children and their parents. The point is, without an RV, we would have never been to East Harbor and met these incredible people. It's funny how RVing can show you how closely we're all connected in this small world. Happy glamping.